So today we're testing out this 2016 Toyota Tacoma, and this is the TRD off-road trim. Let's uh, first thing first. Let's take this baby for a spin and uh, see what see what it does. I'm not gonna lie. I've driven this vehicle before, but I didn't have the time to have a camera with me. I guess I have owned one of these. The camera feature is nice. Um, I have owned one of these before. Uh, it was a 2008, and it was the TRD Sport version. Let's see how these two generation tacos are different. All right. So my daily driver is a little 2005 Honda Civic, as y'all may know, but uh, this thing, man, right away, you feel like you're the boss of the road. I like it. I really like the design um, on this vehicle. The styling on the interior, it's really beautiful. I like these curved edges, um, these sculptured out rugged, rugged edges. It gives it that look, um, like an old school, big, big old school turning knobs. I really like that. Um, most things are all little touch buttons now or swipers. I really like the dials on the radio, the volume button, uh, the tuning and the scroll knobs. It looks really clean. Um, some manufacturers like to do that swiping up and down for the volume and then it doesn't work really well. You have to like swipe a million times to turn it up, you know, 10 volume. Uh, this thing, you get nice, precise control. I really like that. I really like the auto dimming mirror, rear view mirror feature here. My 2008 Tacoma did not have that. Another thing about the interior is I noticed there's plenty of cup holders in here. It seems like there's a cubby space here, a cup holder there, two here, uh, and more on the, you know, on the door panels on the side. I really like it. I don't know about the back, but uh, up here, it's uh, lots of storage, little cubbies and compartments. Another thing about the interior, this is a really nice touch. I believe that the 2016 models and higher are the ones that include the wireless charging uh, pad there. Uh, it's really nice. Not many modern trucks actually, you know, give you that. Toyota is really nice and give you a wireless charge, fo wireless phone charging pad. It's really nice option there. That's one of the things I'd be using every day probably if I was to drive this thing. Okay, so this vehicle is really nice. Um, it's It's got 33,000 miles right now. It's performing really well. I don't hear any rattle. I don't hear, I don't hear any noises. It drives nice and straight, um, very composed. I really like it. Gives you a feeling of um, durability, rigidity, I guess is the word. You know, Toyota is known for its reliability. I'm not sure if the 35 to 40,000, you know, MSRP sticker price on this vehicle is worth it. Um, just because I've been able to drive in other trucks that are just as good. Now, granted, the reliability on those trucks are unknown. I'm not going to mention names, makes, models, but Toyota as a brand, really reliable. And you, you know, you're going to pay for that up up front. There are cheaper trucks that are in the same class um, that might have slightly more options. But with Toyota, you get the reliability and you know the electrical, uh, solid electrical systems, all the sensors. Um, just mechanically, their engines are bulletproof. You've all heard of Toyota, you know, T100 trucks, the Tacomas, the, the Tundras. They're, they're like a million mile trucks, okay? If you, if you maintain them. So you're gonna pay for that out the door. You know, you're gonna slightly overpay, but then you reduce, you know, your times at the shop or at the dealer for maintenance and, you know, repair work. In my opinion, I love Toyota. Um, trying to be as unbiased as I can, but I really love Toyota. Like I said, I've owned a previous um, generation of these. I loved it, never had a problem with it. And that one, 
was a 2008 with 108,000 miles. Not a single problem. Drove like a champ, you know, uh, no complaints. It feels really much like the old one, but just really refined, really retuned. So another thing I noticed about this newer Toyota Tacoma over the older version is Toyota is starting to offer way more options and luxury uh, items on these trucks. It used to be where, you know, if you wanted steering wheel controls, you didn't have them, too bad, you know? Um, but now you get so much more um, buttons, more of everything, everywhere. Now, they're giving you this crawl control system here. Um, you get the rear locker on the off-road uh, the TRD off-road. That's really nice. That one is a must-have. Let's talk about the differences between the TRD Sport and the TRD off-road trims. Uh, the most visible differences that you're gonna see are the body colored paint, flares, bumpers, door handles, mirrors, all that stuff on the on the uh, Sport. On the off-road, they're, uh, they're not painted. They're just black. The bumpers are chrome. The fender flares are black. Uh, but the one huge, huge difference, is the biggest difference between these two trims are the is the rear diff locker, and that is a big deal because assuming you're in four wheel drive, right? You put it in four low or four high, right? And you're you know off road and you get stuck in a mud puddle, say, or in some sand. Even in four wheel drive, you're gonna have the wheels with the least amount, the rear wheels with the least amount of traction spinning and now the ones that are on the ground that have traction they won't be spinning that's not good even with all-wheel drive uh, or four-wheel drive what the rear diff locker does is it locks the rear diff so that the rear two wheels spin exactly at the same rate you don't want it always locked up because during a turn there's a differential in wheel speed you know the inner wheel during a left corner will turn slightly less and then the outer wheel will turn more. So you want the differential in turns, you know, at slow speeds and parking lots and tight maneuvers. Now, if you're going off-road and you're trying to go straight and you're trying to get traction to the rear wheels, it's really nice. Just push the button and you're electronically locked. And you just crawl right out. It's really nice. So that's the biggest difference between the two trims. And another difference between the TRD Sport and the TRD off-road is the um, the shocks, the shocks and the tires are upgraded. So the off-road version slits, sits slightly higher and with more powerful shocks uh, designed to absorb more bumping off-road. And the tires are not street tires, they're more of a all-terrain tire as opposed to the one on the Sport. The Sport just comes with the regular street tires from the factory. All right, so the rear leg room. See how much room this truck has in the back. I am, I'm six one. So yeah, I mean I can fit comfortably in here. It's not bad. Um, definitely on prolonged road trips, this would not be ideal. But this is set up for my driving. And, uh, for example, if there's a six foot one guy driving, driver up front, uh, it's a little cramped in here. But uh, it's not bad at all. The seats are soft and comfortable. Uh, you're sitting upright. Um, good quality seats. I wanted to share this one option with you guys. So, the truck is now locked. I'm putting the keys away. Come up to it. Locks by itself. I really like that. Uh, Lexus does this kind of stuff. I really like that. I'm glad to see Toyota do that. Now, my keys are in the pocket. It's locking. It's locked. Isn't that nice? I love that option. Okay, so uh, I realized I didn't have a conclusion to that uh, Toyota Tacoma review. And I just forgot to film an outro, so here it is. My final thoughts on the Tacoma. I really like the vehicle. It's really practical, it's really sturdy. Great for um, like a small daily driver vehicle. It's not too bad on fuel, but uh, 
it is a little overpriced in my opinion you're you're paying for the reliability up front you're not going to spend as much time in the shop um, getting repairs done or you know extensive maintenance work on it it's really the you know it's really a bulletproof vehicle overall if you're someone that likes a smaller truck uh, or mid-sized truck uh, maybe use it as a daily driver and once in a while on the weekends take it off-roading go hiking whatever that may be uh, this trucks for you if you're a guy that needs to you know do construction or you're a contractor and you need to haul something that's not for you uh, but yeah so if you guys like the video please like subscribe you know all the good stuff uh, really help me out leave your comments below on what you guys think uh, is the best truck for the money in the you know thirty-five to forty thousand dollar price range. Let me know. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys.